What's going on everyone? Jeremy here. Full on flu attack, but I got an amazing package in the mail today that brightened my spirits. Came all the way from Wizards of the Coast officially, and it was some sweet shadows over Innistrad product. So thank you Wizards, and thanks to Janelle uh, who sent this. Shadows over, in over Innistrad will be out worldwide on April 7th and features 297 cards. On that date, players will be able to buy booster boxes, fat packs, intra packs, event decks, and single packs. If you followed my pre-release videos, you know that I had a ton of fun with Shadows over Innistrad, and I actually got to open some prize packs. Now we have a full booster box several days early. This is going to be super exciting, so let's get right into it. There's a lot of interesting uh, cards in this set, and I figured we would talk about it. They also sent some intro packs. Okay? These two intro packs. And I'm going to give them away in a later video. So that will be thanks to the wonderful people at Wizards of the Coast. And I guess a little bit of me. I guess I could have kept them, but I'd way rather give them out. So, lots of interesting pulls in this set, and I'm very excited. I need to just set myself up here. I'm trying to be more uh, understanding of folks' OCD. So we're going to go through the uncommons and then the rares. But I will go a little slower. We have an Essence Flux. Gibbering Fiend. Gibbering Fiend. Bound by Moonsilver. And our first rare, rare is Slayer's Plate. Three mana, four two equipment. Whenever equipped creature dies, it was a human put a one one white spirit creature token with flying onto the battlefield. This card played really well in, in Sealed. Um, I don't know where it might find a permanent home, but uh, in pre-release it was pretty difficult to deal with. And our flip card is a Kindly Stranger, which flips over to the Demon Possessed Witch. Tip card and a token. The Demon Possessed Witch is actually pretty good because when you trigger Delirium, uh, you can destroy target creature, which is always, I mean, removal is always a good thing. And then to be able to have it on a body, too, is definitely extra value. So we have Olivia's Bloodsworn, Stenzia Masquerade, Stone Quarry, and Sin Prodder. This card is very strong. 3 mana, 3 2. That uh, gives card draw. We'll probably see some constructed play. It just seems too good not to play, but um, overall, a very good card. And our flip card, Solitary Hunter. Three man, or four mana, three, four, that flips into a five, six. Great value there. Three mana, three, four is actually quite fine in this format, I think. And uh, four mana, three, four, I mean. Uh, and then getting the late value of it, having it become a five, six is always extra nice. We have a veteran Cathar, Dranu Corpse Trawler, Mad Prophet, and Altered Ego. A ca uh, cannot be countered. You may have Altered Ego enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield, except it enters with X additional 1 1 counters on it. Uh, excellent EDH card at minimum. And our flip card is Autumn Autumnal Ghoul, Gloom. Sorry, 3 mana enchantment. Let's you put the top card of your library into your graveyard. Helps fuel delirium. And we're in the back we have an Ancient of the Equinox. Definitely keeping my clue tokens aside because I need to update my token packs for the next draft I go to, which will be in about a week and a half. Maybe they'll have a draft on release day at my local game store, but... Uh, for right now, I'm planning on the following Wednesday. Dance with the Devils. Cult of the Waxing Moon. Fleeting Memories. And From Under the Floorboards. This is a, a flavor win and 
a solid card that lets you put three, put six power on the battlefield and gain three life, and also really go crazy if you're able to trigger the madness cost. And we have a Duskwatch Recruiter that flips into a Crawling Horde Howler. And zombie Token. So I'm definitely uh, in the throes of a brutal flu. I'm also a huge baby when I'm sick. So uh, it's been rough. However, I'm trying to get all the hype videos out for you guys this week leading up to Shadows Over Innistrad release. Runaway Carriage, Reckless Scholar, Gibbering Fiend, and Devil's Playground. Six mana, put four 1-1 one, one red devil creature tokens on the battlefield. They have, when this creature dies, it deals one damage to target creature or player. And we have Convicted Killer that flips into a Branded Howler. And we have a Westvale Abbey, one of the fun, most fun cards I've ever played with, ever. I mean, it just has everything you need. Flipping into a 9-7 Flying Lifelinked Indestructible Haste creature. Seems real good. So I was not expecting this package from Wizards. Um, and so I'm very both humbled and thankful that it arrived. And it provided me a boost of energy to get down here and do a little shooting. Get through these intro packs and get you guys hyped up for the release coming up on April 7th. Behind the Scenes, Call of the Bloodline, Very Strong Menace Enabler, Stitchwing Scab, and we have an Odric Lunark Marshal. Four mana, three, three. At the beginning of each combat, creatures control gain first strike till end of turn. If a creature you control has first strike, the same is true for flying, death touch, and double strike haste, hexproof, indestructible. Whoa, wait a minute. Until end of turn. If a creature you control has first... Oh, wait. If you control first strike, I get it. And then all the other abilities are copied over. That's pretty crazy. That could get out of hand. And we have a Daring Sleuth as our flip card. And we have a Foil Fiery Temper. This could be an interesting keep. Uh, definitely worth constructed play, I think. I hope that there's some sort of burn deck in, in the new standard. That would be pretty fun. I know it'll be a long way out, but I just love me some burn. Weirdling Wood. Paranoid Parish Blade. Magnifying Glass. And we have a Game Trail. The Shadowlands, Red Green Shadowland. And we have Abherent Researcher, which flips into a Perfected Form. And we have a foil rare, tireless tracker. Three mana, three two. Whenever land enters the, bat enters the battlefield, investigate. Whenever you sacrifice a clue, put a one one counter on tireless tracker. That card could get out of hand for sure. Interesting card, nonetheless. <coughs> Excuse me. Trying to keep the coughs to a minimum. Haunted Cloak, Incorrigible Youth, they really are, aren't they? Skeleton Key, and our first mythic, Descend Upon the Sinful, 6 mana, exile all creatures. If you trigger Delirium, put a 4-4 four, four white angel creature token with flying onto the battlefield. If, yes. Solid card, we'll definitely see constructed play. Gas Staff Arsonus into the Ravagers. And we have a foil groundskeeper. So if you guys missed Shadows Over Innistrad pre-release, I put up a vlog this past weekend that walks you through both of my days, the Friday midnight as well as the Saturday. A lot of people like those. I'm working on Wanderlust, which is a lot of people's favorite series. I'm behind. I owe you guys one for March still. And uh, as soon as I'm healthy, I'm going to get out and shoot that. Manic Scribe, Toppelgeist, Sinister Concoction, and we have an Angel of Deliverance, 8 mana, 6, 6, Flyer. If we trigger Delirium, um, whenever Angel of Deliverance deals damage, if there are four more types, card types amongst cards in your graveyard, exile target creature and opponent control. So limited bomb for sure. We have a Neglected Heirloom. That flips into, I think this card's very interesting in, in, in Limited for sure. 
that turns into the Ashmoth Blade. Three, adding 3-3 three, three and First Strike is definitely relevant in limited play, and in the current limited, you know, board stalls will be a thing, so... Oh, press for answers. I love that. Just great Innistrad art, man. These artists just get get into it, I think. Pour over the pages. Groundskeeper. Highland Lake. And Triskaidekaphobia. Four mana enchantment. Each player with exactly 13 life loses the game, and then, then each player gains one life, or each player loses one life. And that's at the beginning of your upkeep. Choose one. Definitely flavorful card, and all the 13s hidden in the art. Very interesting. Village Messenger. Flips into Moonrise Intruder. Very excited to draft this. This will be out on uh, pre-release online soon, too. So um, hopefully I'll be able to do some more sealed events. <coughs> Excuse me. On MTGO, preparing for the uh, game day and uh, release day events. Reaper of the Flight Moon Silver. Call of the Bloodline. Erdwall Illuminator. And our second mythic, Behold the Beyond. Seven mana. Discard your hand, search your library for three cards, and put those into your hand. Then shuffle your library. Definitely mythic worthy and a great card in sealed. Um, probably draft too. Go get your three best cards. Convicted Killer, we've seen this guy. Flips into Branded Howler. And then we have a Handware Militia Captain. Two mana, 2-2 two, two at the beginning of your upkeep. If you control four or more creatures, transform it into Westfield Cult Leader. Its power and toughness is equal to the number of creatures you control. At the beginning of your end step, end step put a 1-1 white-black human cleric creature token onto the battlefield. It seems very strong in some token strategy. Um, that could be pretty interesting. Tooth Collector, not only flavorful, but actually very strong card. Get some shenanigans going with that. Forsaken Sanctuary, Pale Rider of Trostad, love this art. We have Thalia's Lieutenant, two mana, one, one. When it enters the battlefield, put a one, one counter on each other human you control. Again, uh, human token seems pretty good. Whenever another human enters the battlefield under your control, put a 1-1 counter on Thalia's Lieutenant. We have an Heir of Falkenroth flip card. Very strong card. 2-1 that turns into a 3-2 flyer. Very, very strong card. First pickable in draft, in my opinion. Emissary of the Sleepless Foil. Moving right along. Moving right along. It's fitting that my cat, Doc, which is a black cat, happens to be down here as I open Shadows Over Innistrad. He's normally not allowed down here because he has a habit of chewing my cables. Pick the brain. Near Heath Chaplin. Pack Guardian. I see you, Docky. And a Drowniard Temple. This, this card is definitely going to be interesting. It's going to have some shenanigans. Tap to add a colorless pay three return temple from your graveyard to the battlefield. So you're going to have some recursion there with this land. It's going to be an interesting card and constructed. Then we have a Breakneck Rider that flips into a Neckbreaker. I love the kind of the name synergy you can have quite a mess to clean up here but this is like my favorite kind of mess you know compelling deterrence open the armory murderer's axe and declaration in stone definitely going to see constructive play and also an anti-token strategy card exile target creature and all other creatures it controller controls with the same name as that creature that player investigates for each non-token creature exile in this way. So it is a drawback. There is definitely a drawback. Hinterland Logger. Flips into Timber Shredder. I feel like Timber Shredder would be a little more effective at uh, logging. You know, if you could just swipe a tree down. Seems pretty good.
Moonlight Haunt. Oryx Kindred. Tenacity. Got blown up by that card a few times. Asylum Visitor. Two mana, three one. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, if that player has no cards in hand, you draw a card and lose one life. It's a very interesting card, too. With and a flip card hermit of the Natter Knolls. Flips in two. The Lone Wolf of Natter Knolls. I'm sorry if my voice is a little haggard. I figured you guys would trade a flu-ridden HQ unboxing vid of a new set over waiting for me to get healthy. I know you love me, but I know you love pack openings too. Haunted Cloak, Geist Blast, Inner Struggle, and Cryptolith Right. Uh, this is definitely going to be a ramp card that's going to get a bit out of control. Two mana. Creature control have tap. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. So with a token strategy or any other ramp strategies, this card's going to get very, very crazy. Town Gossip mon Monger flips into the Incited Rebel. Rebel, 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 Rebel. Rebel Rousers. A lot of you roasted me for saying I was kind of bummed that I got that as my promo. I understand it's going to be really good, but it's not necessarily what you want to open up and sealed. You know, it's great fixing. Dissension in the ranks. <coughs> Creeping dread. Ongoing investigation. And the folly of Moondrake. Seven mana, five, five flyer. When it enters the battlefield, target creature gains flying till end of turn. You can also pay six to exile it from your graveyard. Creatures control gain flying till end of turn. We have a skin invasion. That art, man. I'm telling you. So good. And skin shredder. What do you guys think uh, standard's going to look like with Shadows over in Strad? I'm always very interested to see how things are going to change. I know that there was a change to the modern ban list, so I'm, I'm assuming modern's going to have a pretty big shift. Spectral Shepherd. Biting Rain. Skeleton Key. And Seasons Past. Six mana, Mythic. Return any number of cards with different converted mana costs from your graveyard to your hand. Put Seasons Past at the bottom of its owner's library. Very strong effect. Uninvited Geist. That flips into Unimpeded Trespasser. And we got a thing in the ice. One of the most talked about cards of the new set. Two mana 04 that comes in with four ice counters that you can remove each time you cast an instant or a sorcery. And then it turns into a 7-8 Awoken Horror that bounces all non-horror creatures. Playing against that in pre-release, you got to really feel the uh, feel the real power of that card. There goes Doc running by. Olivia's Bloodsworn. Stenzia Masquerade. Morkut Necropod. And a Harness of Storm. Three mana enchantment. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell from your hand, you may cast a card with the same name as that spell from your graveyard. And then an aut Autumnal Gloom. And an Ancient of the Equinox. Hopefully I remember to edit that, edit that out, but I probably won't. I'm losing steam quickly. I made sure and took a shower and took my day quill right before I came down to shoot this. Reaper of Flight Moon Silver. Pack Guardian. Stone Quarry. And a Relentless Dead. Another mythic. Double Black for 2 2 Menace. Whenever it dies, you may pay black, return to its owner's hand. When it dies, you may pay X. If you do, return another target zombie creature card with converted mana cost of X from your graveyard to the battlefield. That card is going to see some shenanigans. <clears throat> Convicted Killer. Into Branded Howler. We have a foil, press for answers. Well, we have opened a lot of mythics. We have not seen any Planeswalkers. <clears throat> we also have not seen um, Archangel Avison. Have not seen her at all in any of my packs yet. Broken Concentration. 
Forsaken Sanctuary. Pale Rider of Trustad, an Epiphany at Drown Yard. Pay X and a blue. Reveal the top X cards of your library. Separate them into two piles. An opponent chooses one. One in your hand and the other into the graveyard. Pious Evangel into Wayward Disciple. And then we have a Gaia Reach Bandit. Three mana, three two with haste. That flips into a four three that just lets you transform any werewolf right away. So very good, very good card. I'm so pumped for Shadows. What card are you guys most excited for? I'd love to hear in the comment section down below. Manic Scribe. Toppelgeist. Silver Strike. An Eerie Interlude. Three mana instant. Exile any number of target creatures you control. Return those cards to the battlefield under their owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. It's a nice way to protect them from some removal. Gastoff Arsonists into the Ravengers. And then we have a Foil Broken Concentration. Just uh, Innistrad art, I'm telling you. It's just so good. Obsessive Skinner. Invasive Surgery. Ulvenwald Mysteries. And we have a Tireless Tracker. I've already gone through him. I think he's pretty good. I don't know if he'll see Constructed Play or not, but it's definitely a strong ability. We have a Thraven Gargoyle that flips into a Stonewing Antagonizer. Fun little 2-2 blocker that becomes a real difficult to deal with flyer later. Like a 4-2 flyer you would think is not that great, but in this format it's kind of hard to get rid of. A lot of one power flyers and, and there's just not a lot of flyers in general. Runaway Carriage, Graph Mole, Indulgent Aristocrat, and Anguished Unmaking. Very constructive playable, 3 mana exile, target non-land permanent, you lose 3 life. It's one way to get rid of Thing in the Ice, another way to get rid of Westvale Abbey, all those great things. Solitary Hunter. That flips into one of the pack. And then we have a Grotesque Mutation. Creepy card. You just look down at your hand and you take off your glove and you're like, hey, my hand feels kind of weird. You know, it's a little warm. You take it off and there's a, hand, a mouth growing out of it. Not forgotten. That wouldn't be forgotten, I'll tell you that much. Gisa's bidding. Stitching scab. And silver for partisan. 2-2 two, two for 3. Trample. Whenever a wolf or werewolf you control becomes a target of an instant or sorcery spell, put a 2-2 two, two green wolf creature token on the battlefield. That can be fun because remember you could target it too with a pump spell or something like that. We've got that logger into the shredder. <coughs> These first couple are always a little bit longer. I try to go slow. For those that like the Just the Sauce videos, that will come the week of the release where I just look at the rares only. Trail of Evidence. Spiteful Motives. Bound by Moon Silver. An inexorable blob. Three mana, three, three with delirium. Whenever ex ex inexorable blob attacks, if there are four more card types among cards in your graveyard, put a three, three green ooze creature token on the battlefield tapped and attacking. Very strong card. And we have an abherent researcher into the perfected form. I'm watching Doc play over there. Black Cat, you know, he likes Innistrad. He's probably why I'm sick, too, you know? Thanks a lot, Doc. Hey, buddy! He's playing with a mouse over there. Not a real one. Weirdling Wood. Weirding Wood. Sorry. Rise from the tide. Rise from the tides. Altered Beast reference for you old guys. Woodland Stream. Markov Dread Knight. 5 mana, 3-3 three, three flyer. Pay 2 and a black discard a card. Put 2 one, 1 counters on it. Very good. This card is very strong, I think. Especially if you're discarding something with madness. I could get out of con control pretty fast. 
Lamb Holt Pacifist flips in two. Lamb Holt Butcher. So flavorful, just the names, you know, the flip cards. Pour over pages. Pour over the pages. Groundskeeper Willie. Whoops. Gris Boone and Diagraph Colossus. Some of my favorite art in the whole set. You have like a wicker man full of zombies. <coughs> very, very good. Whenever you cast a zombie spell. Oh, by the way, it gets a 1-1 counter for every zombie in your graveyard. So this could see play, play as part of a zombie deck. We've got Harvest Hand. Turns into sc Scrounge Scythe. Pretty interesting. Where are you, Archangel Abyssin? Are you in here? Yes. It's like a fever, a fever delusions here. Ravenous Bloodseeker. Mad Prophet. I can relate. Humble the Brute, and Ever After, six mana. Return up to two target creature cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. Each of those creatures is a black zombie in addition to other colors and types. Put it on the bottom of your library. <coughs> six packs left. I want to thank Wizards of the Coast again. Make sure you guys are ready for April 7th when Shadows Over Innistrad comes out. We will have much more going on on the channel. I'm going to have a limited guide for you guys. Draft guide once I play a little bit. I'll have tons more product opening and all sorts of amazing stuff. Behind the scenes, Gloom Widow, Graph Mole, and Scourge Wolf. Double red for a first striker. And when it flips, oh, see, Black Cat, Black Cat, Innistrad, Black Cat. With Delirium, it gets double strike. My Daki. Avicinian Missionaries that flips into the Inquisitors. Excuse you, Doc. A black cat just crossed my path. Now what? They just go with it? He crosses my path all the time. I'm immune, I think. Pick the brain. Wild Field Scarecrow. Malevolent Whispers, and an Audric Lunark Marshall. Talked about him already. A Cursed Witch, we talked about. I think this card is very good. That turns into the Infectious Curse. Uh, good value out of it, right? Uh-oh. My piles are tipping over. Don't look, OCD folks. Okay. All right. I did it. I cleaned it up. I cleaned it up. Four packs left. Let's finish strong. There's the uh, infamous Brian Kibler murdering, murdering somebody. Hope against hope. Epitaph Golem. Fleeting memories. And a soul swallower. Four mana, three, three with trample. With delirium, uh, at the beginning of every upkeep, put three one one counters on it. So this card can get out of hand. Convicted killer. And a Lamholt Pacifist. Foil on both sides. That has to be a production pain for wizards. <coughs> Excuse me. Haunted Cloak. Geist Blast. Ghoul Steed. Love this card. And a Foreboding Ruins. Shadow, red, red Black Shadowland. And we have a Dusk Watch Recruiter. Turns into a Kralen, Kralen Horde Howler. Pretty big set, you know. We haven't really had a ton of duplicates in terms of rares. The Corpse Trawler. Howl Pack Resurgence. Indulgent, Aristocrat, and Second Harvest. For each token you control, that's a token on... Ah, put a token on the battlefield, that's a copy. So 
Very nice token strategy. We have the Kindly Stranger. Oh, yeah! And then we got an Arlen Court as our flip. Oh, wow! Alright, so we've got the Demon Possessed Witch. And then we've got an Arlen Cord. Beautiful, powerful lady. She flips into Arlen Embrace the mo by the Moon. I was not expecting that. Which slot would that have technically been in? Like, the Demon Possessed Witch was our flip card, I thought. And then the Arlen Cord seemed like random go back and look at that i have to go back and look at the look at the tape like john madden you know circle things spectral shepherd ah near earth chaplain howl pack resurgence and the blue white shadowland we have the hinterland logger and we have a foil equestrian skill we have a jace emblem Maybe that means our last pack is Jace. So thank you so very much, Janelle, at Wizards of the Coast. Hopefully we'll be able to do this again uh, the next time a set comes out. But uh, I appreciate you sharing this with me so I can share it with all the subscribers. If you guys like this video, please take a second to crush that thumbs up button. It'd mean a lot to me. It helps new people find the channel. And uh, let's show Wizards that you guys really appreciate it. Lightning Axe, Veteran Cathar, Tenacity, and our last rare is Engulf the Shore. Three mana, or four mana instant return to their owner's hands all creatures with toughness less than or equal to the number of islands you control. And we have a Daring Sleuth. Alright, well that is the Shadows Over Innistrad box. Be sure to be ready for... The April 7th release of this super awesome set. Thanks again to Wizards. Thanks to all you for watching. Now I'm going to go take a nap. Use all different kinds of content. So if you haven't yet, click on my face to subscribe. If you want to watch more videos, I've got some sweet playlists, including this one, where I open up every fat pack ever created. I've also got this one over here, where I open just about anything vintage and old and expensive for your enjoyment. And all this is made possible by the awesome backers at our Patreon, which is linked in the description of every video. Hop on over there, check it out, see if it's something you might want to consider. If not, sit back, enjoy, and I'll still love you.